Chapter 5 Stone Soup A hungry traveller stopped in a village to look for food. The people of the village were selfish and unkind. They did not like to share their food. The clever traveller had an idea. He requested a villager to lend him the largest pot that he could find. He took the pot to the busy marketplace and filled it with water. He then lit a fire and placed the pot on it. A curious villager asked the man, Why are you boiling water in this huge pot? The traveller replied, I am making stone soup. It is a special recipe. I want to share my soup with everyone once it is done. The people in the marketplace heard the traveller and gathered around him to see the stone soup. The traveller took out a smooth, shiny stone from his pocket and put it in the water. He sipped the water after a few minutes and said, Ah, this is the best stone soup I have ever had. But it would taste much better with some potatoes and carrots. I have six potatoes, said a villager. A vegetable seller brought some carrots. Is the soup ready yet? asked the villagers. It is almost ready. I wish I had a tub of butter, some salt and some pepper, said the traveller. A few of the villagers rushed to provide the items. By this time, all the villagers had gathered at the marketplace to taste the special stone soup. Soon the traveller requested for some other vegetables, pieces of meat, eight eggs and some herbs. The villagers happily gave all the items and they were added to the soup. After a few more minutes, the stone soup was ready to eat. The traveller gave a bowl full of soup to everyone and ate the remaining soup himself. The villagers had never tasted such delicious soup before. For the first time in many years, they were sharing something together. They felt happy. The people said that the special stone had magic in it. Suddenly, a little boy asked the traveller, Where is the special stone? The traveller smiled and said, I threw it away. The villagers looked at the traveller in surprise. The soup is delicious because of all the other things that you shared with me. The stone was not special and it did not have any magic, said the traveller. The traveller soon continued his journey. But the villagers did not forget the lesson that he had taught them. It is the friendliest village in the whole world today. Every Sunday, the people gather at the marketplace to make stone soup in a large pot. If you happen to visit them, they will share their delicious soup with you too.